this is the main air compressor uh, high pressure valves so how to fix the valve how to hold the valve for uh, dismantling so you cannot uh, keep the valve in between the vise horizontally this is not the correct way to fix it and also you cannot uh, keep the valve vertically and fix in the vise to disassemble it and this is also not the correct way to fix it so how to fix there is a tool for fixing the high pressure valve this is the tool i am opening it it got two pieces one with two stud and this piece should be hold in between the vise so this is how we have to fix the tool initially this is the base plate for fixing the high pressure valve so this is the top plate both should be held together and you can use the nut and washer and tighten it with hand and you can tighten it with the spanner very slightly you should not over tighten it so i tighten it with hand okay so this is how you have to fix the valve for servicing okay so after uh, fixing the high pressure valve in its uh, tool now we can able to open dismantle the high pressure valves so if you open the top nut with a spanner the valve will tend to rotate so this is not the correct way to open it what is the correct way is there will be a allen screw in the bottom of the valve hold it with the allen key and then you open the nut now the nut will open if you don't hold the allen key the nut cannot be opened the valve will keep on rotating only now uh, i had opened the nut so i had opened the nut both the locking nut and the tightening nut so once i opened i can uh, dismantle it whatever you dismantle you keep it in a tray so that the parts don't get uh, mixed up so first i open the valve the washer valve guard valve spring valve plate and the valve seat and file this is a valve clamp this bolt you call it as valve clamp valve plate and these are the three springs and uh, this one is the valve valve seat so we had opened all this now we have to clean it uh, either with uh, clean uh, diesel oil or you can use kerosene for better result these are the spring so when you clean the spring you have to check inspect visually whether there is any damage whether there is any crack or any kind of uh, abnormalities in the spring use a soft cloth do not use a emery paper so that uh, it may damage your seat the one which i am cleaning is a uh, valve seat you have to check the seating surface and uh, this one you call it as a valve plate you can see the valve plate again inspect it visually and uh, the next this you call it as valve spring valve spring in this type you can find three pieces so i am cleaning it uh, with clean rags with the help of uh, kerosene so while cleaning only you have to inspect it this is the valve plate in my next video i will clearly uh, show each and every part of this uh, 
high pressure compressor valves so that uh, you can easily make it out so the one which I clean now is valve plate so you have to clean with diesel and then you can clean with uh, proper clean rags lintel free rags you can see so once uh, you cleaned all the pressure parts like uh, valve guard clamp valve plates and you can see a guide rings also guide ring washer and everything so what I do is I had already cleaned I blow air and uh, inspected each and every piece every part so main thing is we have to check the seating surface it should be free of any kind of uh, scoring mark so that uh, air don't escape when uh, compression is happening when uh, suction or delivery is happening okay so I had done with my cleaning so this is the valve clamping bolt so you have to check the threads of these bolts and uh, the smaller one is you call it as uh, guide ring you can see the surface uh, these are all the surface that you have to check you can see the surface is looking good there is no any abnormalities even the springs are also good so I will show you how to lap it nowadays most of the compressor maker are recommending not to do lapping because uh, the proper way to lap is not being followed so they always uh, instruct us recommend us to change uh, the valve after some particular running hours so you have to fix the now I am going to see uh, show you how to assemble the uh, springs uh, you can see the spring there will be a lock nut locking uh, space that space the hole should match for all the parts you can see yeah okay so this is your uh, valve seat you simply follow the manual eh, for assembling do not uh, uh, do anything without the guidance of manual the, this video is uh, just for your reference you can have it as a reference and uh, you can work on board so you can see here eh, this is the valve seat I am fixing the valve guard bolts you can see the hole eh, hole should be matched properly with the locking pin you can see the lock pin is being in place so what I check is without uh, fitting the guide ring guide ring should always be in place before uh, doing the assembly just uh, I am showing you how to fix the parts with the clamp with the guide uh, pin so ok this is how we have to just check it next thing is I am going to assemble it with guide ring so without if you fix the plate without the guide ring you cannot assemble it properly so you can see now uh, you can see I am fixing it without the guide ring just to ensure the things are in place sometimes you can do a match mark also like uh, put a mark on the plate so that uh, the guide pin will properly go inside the slot so that you don't get uh, messed up ok 
okay so we are done with this so the bolt is here you can see it is turning uh, if it is turning means that means uh, the plate and the spring is not being in place okay so okay this is the washer and this is the nut locking nut locking nut in place and this is what I say it as the guide ring you have to fix the guide ring in place so once the guide ring is in place you can fix the valve plate springs in place properly so this is what I said earlier if you forgot to fix the guide ring you will face uh, difficulties in fixing the parts so now I fixed the guide ring in place and now I I can assemble it easily just put a mark so that it will be easy for you to fix it in place so I'm fixing it back now I'm fixing it with the guide ring in place the guide ring purpose is to guide us to assemble and uh, it will hold it will make us the way to keep the parts intact so now uh, I fix the bolt washer and uh, nut this is the tightening nut and next will be the locking nut so first I use the tightening nut so what else to check so once you are done with this you have to tighten with the help of uh, tightening torque this is the tightening torque you can find it in the manual so I have to use 25 Nm for tightening this uh, nut so as usual you have to hold it hold the bottom uh, allen key with the allen bolt with the help of allen key and uh, tighten it with the recommended torque so just I tighten it initially with the help of uh, spanner and then I will use the torque wrench to do the tightening so again for doing the tightening keep the plate in place as I said earlier with the help of tool holding the allen bolt with the help of allen key from the bottom side and then you can do the torque tightening of uh, that's all so hold it hold the allen bolt uh, with the help of allen key and do the tightening so that's all you should not over tighten it and that is the reason we have to follow the tightening torque value which has been recommended by the maker so we are done with the overhauling of uh, main air compressor uh, valves and uh, in my next video I will show you how to do lapping of uh, air compressor uh, high pressure valve plates so this video I had just uh, shown you to give you an idea how to dismantle and how to assemble what are all the things that we need to check I believe uh, this video must have given you some information about uh, how to dismantle a uh, main air compressor high pressure valves and uh, what are all the things that we need to check during uh, overall and uh, in my next video I will tell how to check what are all the checks that we need to do after uh, overhauling the air compressor valves thanks for watching
keep supporting thank you guys